Okay, welcome back to the channel, guys. Before this video starts, go down below, hit the subscribe button, because we're getting so, so much closer to 90 subscribers. We're getting there. I hope we can get to it. The manga we're going to be covering today is Bone Collection. Um, it is completed, so if you guys want to read a manga that's completed, it is very short. But if you guys want to come, want to read a manga from beginning to end, not wait for new chapters, here is this one for you. The link down will be down below for it in case you want to read it now. Um, but as every manga review video I've done so far, this is number four in them. Um, I'm going to be covering it, going over the synopsis, and showing you guys some images of chapter one. I've personally read this one. I like it. I wouldn't say it's like in my top ten, but it's definitely one I like. But um, let's get into it after the intro. Okay, so sorry if you're the, my fan in the background. I had it going on in the last video that you'll probably be seeing before this one. I'm trying to pre-record a whole bunch of the, these videos for the week. Um, but here's the plot. Basically, you'll see it on screen if you want to read it too. But it says, In a world swarming with yokai demons, one day a mediocre exorcist, Kazuma, encounters a beautiful girl named Para. But who is she? And could this seemingly useless Kazuma actually have a special ability um so i like it i'm i'm a little upset though i have to admit one thing this manga it is not super long it's not like 100 chapters or 70 chapters or stuff like that and in fact ended two months ago as the time we're recording this but i still really enjoy reading it or enjoyed reading it when it was around so i highly suggest you go and read this manga but so i'm not rambling on so much Let's go in and show some images slash cover art for chapter one. Also, this does not have an anime adaptation, so let's get into that, shall we? Toyo! 